Hurricane Michael is intensifying as it moves through the Gulf of Mexico and closer to the U.S. coastline. Storm surge and hurricane warnings are in effect for the Florida Panhandle, where residents spent the day preparing for the worst. CBS's Laura Podesta is in New York with the latest. Gas stations along the Florida Panhandle are already running out of fuel as residents and tourists evacuate ahead of Hurricane Michael. We're going to go get gas right now just in case we got to get out of here. Motorists were stuck in long lines yesterday as they waited to fill up their cars. Others were stuck in traffic as they evacuated Panama City Beach. Throughout the panhandle, businesses are boarding up and residents are filling sandbags, wary of a storm surge that could top 12 feet. Unfortunately, it looks like it's coming directly at us, and all you can do is prepare. Slightly inland, Lisa Jones is gathering supplies. Well, I will go by the store today and pick up some water and some food, packed goods, batteries, got plenty of flashlights. We're pretty set. Shelves in some stores are already empty. Florida Governor Rick Scott is urging residents along the coast to follow evacuation orders. Hurricane Michael is forecast to be the most destructive storm to hit the Florida Panhandle in decades. The storm will be life threatening. The storm clipped western Cuba yesterday, flooding streets, damaging homes, and cutting off power with downed trees. Hurricane Michael is a monstrous storm, and the forecast gets getting more dangerous. Warm Gulf waters are expected to strengthen Michael as it moves closer to the U.S. Laura Podesta, CBS News. After hitting the coast, Michael is expected to move northeast over Georgia and the Carolinas, where residents are still cleaning up from Hurricane Florence.